If you're wanting to file your taxes online and do it with an easy to use tax software, H&R Block has you covered. This is one of my favorite tax software tools to use when filing your taxes online. In this video, I'm going to be giving you a complete walkthrough of H&R Block using the self-serve online tax prep in this video. Hey guys, welcome back to The College Investor. This is Justine, and here we talk about all things millennial and personal finance, and we're going to be talking about tax prep online, specifically using H&R Block. H&R Block really comes in three different flavors. The first being self-service, where you are filing your taxes online on your own using their tax software. The second is utilizing online tax prep with the help of an expert. And then the third flavor is just simply passing off all of your tax materials and documents over to an H&R Block professional who is going to prepare your tax return for you. So first, let's ask the question, is H&R Block really free? There is a free tier, but it really only is for a specific set of tax filers, and it really boils down to having W-2 income, unemployment income, retirement income, social security income, and also you do get a bit of deductions with the child tax credit and some student loan interest deductions. You'll also be able to qualify for the free version with earned income tax credit or interest income or limited investment support. Anything outside of any of these tax situations, then you would actually be bumped up into one of their paid versions. Although H&R Block does come at a premium price, if you scan the QR code on your screen, you can get 20% off the H&R Block's tax software. We'll also leave a link below for you to grab that offer. So what's new in 2024? This past year, H&R Block has included support for bank account interest, and then there's also limited support for investments. Now, COVID relief programs, such as like the stimulus checks and things are mostly over, but we're now seeing other credit go towards things like solar energy home improvements or electric vehicles and inflation driven adjustments to different tiers. Also, you're going to see that H&R Block is going to implement any tax code adjustments and changes as part of the tax law as we go into this new year. You can rest assured that H&R Block is a legitimate tax software company. They've been around for years and in my opinion, one of the easiest tax software to use. So let's go ahead and hop inside the H&R Block Tax Online Software Dashboard and I'll show you how it works. Okay, so this is a look at what it looks like on the inside once you get started. So you can click on Start on your taxes <laughs> and then you actually have the option of you want a tax pro to do it all and this is where you could either hire them to do it full service or they can have an expert assistant help you do it online. In this walkthrough, I'm gonna walk through exactly what it will look like if you were to self prepare your tax return. So I'm gonna click on that and click next. Now, a couple of things is if you've prepared on H&R Block in the past or you're doing this for the first time, just know if you're going to use the software again for the subsequent year, that it's actually going to pull information from your old profile into the new season's tax return, which makes it so much simpler and easy for you to get you to come back as a repeat customer. The cool thing about H&R Block is that they actually use icons and they do not use any tax jargon that that makes it difficult for you to understand what's going on. So you can actually choose all that's applied to you in this past year. So it, even though it says 2022, this software has been updated for the 2024 tax season. So if you have kids, owned a home, had a self health savings account, any of these types of things is going to direct you into the appropriate package that H&R Block provides. And just as a side note, H&R Block is not a discount tax software. You're going to be paying a premium price. And oftentimes what I've found is that generally the premium price is you're going to get a very robust user experience. It's going to be really engaging and easy for you to follow through on the steps and as you walk through each of the windows. So in my mind, yes, you're going to be paying a premium, but you're also going to have the benefit and the assurance that you're filing things correctly. So let's continue to go forward. Let's say you had a health savings account, you have kids, and then click next. 
Now it's going to show you exactly what is going to, wh what price package you're going to be in. So they're uh, prompting me to look at h &R Block Deluxe, maximize credit deductions, report HSA contributions, um, organize contract freelancing gig work and other self-employed income. So $55 for the deluxe and then the state return is an additional $49. Also looks like here you can actually price compare what's going on here. So the free version is everything that we just discussed. The plus version is $30. If you want to digitally organize all of your tax stocks for up to six years. Wow, that's cool. Um, definitely love going to digital versus paper. And then deluxe is where they were trying to get me. But honestly, I don't know if this is like their best deal because look at if you were self-employed, you actually get to claim all of the your small business expenses your um, rental income and deductions, your Schedule E. So it almost seems like premium or self-employed would be the better option. And again, that's a premium. But if I'm thinking about the cost of preparing this myself versus using a CPA, you're saving a ton of money. So let's just go ahead and do this since I'm self-employed. We'll take a look at what's going on. Okay, every single tax software that I've reviewed. <laughs> Always pretty much is set up the same. So you're gonna have your basic info, you're gonna have your info, your income, deductions, credits, um, the additional tax situations, and then a review. You're also gonna see that for the state. It's gonna pull over whatever you put in your federal return. It's gonna pull over the applicable information for your state. So it's really straightforward. I love this dashboard, it's easy to use. And I feel like just having it, everything enlarged, <laughs> it makes a difference. It makes a difference when you're actually going through this and it's just like, yes, I know exactly what they're asking. I am filing jointly. I'm gonna be doing all of this together. Very simple and easy to use. Okay, it's just gonna ask you some easy questions here. So, no, yes. And then we can add dependents really easily. Okay, once you add in your personal information, it's going to move you into the income section. So let's go ahead and fill that out. Okay, now we're getting into the income profile. So let's go ahead and click start and then take a look at entering in your occupations. Also, if you had any cryptocurrency, it's going to ask you here. Uh, Bitcoin, Ethereum, Dogecoin, all of those things can be reported inside of H&R Block. Standard deduction, okay. Let me go back to income real quick. The only thing about H&R Block now that as I'm going through this, it doesn't really give you a menu of options in case you were to forget about something. Like here it says add credit, and then you can see, like do you have any of these common credits? I almost, would prefer if we could go through like step by step. I know other tax software will actually lead you through every single question. And again, this is due to me pulling over information from last year. And so it's going to replicate what, the, what I said yes and no to from last year's forms. But here I can see like, okay, earned income credit could definitely be something that I take a look at or see more, more credits. And now I kind of get a menu of everything that is going on inside of the credits. So child and dependent care expenses. Yes, we could do that. We may, may have already chosen this for you. Child tax credit, yes. Um, education expenses, employment, savers credit. Let's take a look at what savers credit is. Form 8880. So I clicked on the learn more button and it actually popped up this little um, helpful uh, pop-up box. Savers credit, known as the retirement savings contribution credit, gives a special tax break to low and mid income taxpayers who save for retirement. Wow, the credit might even eliminate your tax bill. You might be able to claim a credit for 50, 20, or 10% of the first $2,000 you contribute. Um, that's amazing but you have to have an AGI of less than $68,000 if you're married filing jointly, $34,000 or below if you're single. So I, I think these types of helpful pop-up boxes are so nice because this is literally two, two paragraphs explaining what it is and then who qualifies, bullet points. 
super easy. I've done other tax software where it's literally just like <gasps> paragraphs upon paragraphs of things. So finish adding credits, yes. And then as you add in your credits, then you're gonna be able to start that credit. So, yes, add in my W-2s. Okay, so inside of the income portion, I'm not sure how it got me to skip over <laughs> putting in my W-2, but here's the cool thing about H&R Block that I think sets it apart. You can upload a PDF of the W-2. You can take a picture of it, or the old school way you can enter it manually. I love that you have this option because it saves you so much time when you're uploading a PDF versus entering it in manually. It also removes the, the human error component. When you're uploading a PDF, you literally just there it is, and then you can fact check it based upon what's actually in your hands if you're getting paper documents. This is such a great way to just minimize the amount of time that you're spending um, uploading things into H&R Block. Once you add in your W-2s or all of your income statements, inside of the income uh, section, you do your deductions. You can add deductions, and then also, if you wanna see a menu, all you have to do is click that blue button and it's gonna show you a menu of deduction items that you can add. So let's say you had the HSA, you can go ahead and check mark that box. You can literally go line by line. Uh, student loan interest now that we've been uh, accruing student loan interest since those repayments have resumed. The, the 1098E is something that you might wanna check. Mortgage interest is a big one, 1098 um, home mortgage interest, any of these forms. So this is where the menu box is nice. It wasn't clear to me, it was a little bit buried, so just make sure that you're looking for those and making sure that you are matching up the documents that you have in hand or digitally with what's inside of H&R Block. Make sure you're not missing anything. So I'm gonna go back into income. Another fascinating thing about the W-2 import is you can do a direct import if your employer is partnering with H&R Block. That's so amazing. You don't even have to do the PDF or snap a pick. You can do a direct import, which is really fantastic. For the sake of this tutorial, <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and just quickly enter in some manual, just random information, just so that you can see what this looks like. Okay, I went ahead and just added in some fake information for the W-2 just so that you can see what that looks like. And as I added that in, you're going to see this uh, number here on the left-hand side update. So this is the potential tax refund that I would be getting out of this scenario. Obviously, a $9,000 refund is a huge refund. And so this is just a really great way to kind of see what's going on inside of your taxes as you're entering in new information. So if I was to go over to the other sections, let's say you had an HSA, yes. And then you're gonna see the green button. Anytime that you add a new form, you're gonna see a green button to start. And then any sections that you've completed, there's going to be a review. Uh, nope. Yes, we made contributions. Let's say it was $6,000. Let's say this was $2,000. All right, so once you add in just the normal information from your HSA, from your 5498, and then it's gonna show the, the adjustments or the deductions. So the 7K, then you're gonna hit next and we can claim the standard deduction. And then it's gonna give you a little summary at the end. At the end of each section, it gives you a really nice summary of what has been entered, just as a good checkpoint for you. So then we can look at starting our credits. And we got the child tax credit of $2,000, so we'll hit next. And then let's take a look at child independent care credit. Okay, again, another summary. 
of the, all the credits that you've entered so far and then hit next. All right, so now we're gonna get into the tax taxes, payments, and penalties section. So any other tax situations that might pertain to you for the past year. And then we're gonna see that listed here, including all of our calculations. So the numbers here might look a little different than what you entered. And then quickly, they're going to ask you about payments, um, any additional estimated tax payments or any additional forms or miscellaneous things. Let's go next and start checking what you've entered. And so then they're gonna do just kind of a check to see if there are any potential errors inside of your tax return. And then <laughs> it looks like this. Uh, marketplace insurance, return to the Affordable Care Act screen and select the appropriate answer. So if they find an error, they're gonna put you back to that specific form. So did everyone in your household have health insurance in 2022? Everyone was covered. Okay, now that that's been fixed, it's gonna give you a quick look at any potential refunds or anything that you might owe. And then you can click on the full summary report to see exactly what's been entered so far. And then it's going to copy everything over to your state return so that you can start doing your state tax preparation. Don't forget, if you want to get 20% off the H&R Block tax software, you can scan the QR code on screen or click the link below to get started. H&R Block continues to be on our short list. Is it worth it? Yes. For those who qualify for the free filing, it's absolutely worth it if you have some more complex tax filing situations including self-employment income then you'll be paying the premium price but it's absolutely worth it inside the dashboard I found it very easy to use just make sure that you're actually going through each of the screens with intention and that you're taking the time so no distractions do this after the kids go to bed do this on your own with all of your tax documents in hand if you like this video make sure to give it a thumbs up and we'll catch you in the next one